hello there folks. So what I'm doing today is quite a few folks have inquired about these kitchen boas that I have been making and selling. So I figured well get me out of video slash slideshow and let you see what I have. Some of them are already done ready to be shipped out. Uh, I have a lot of material that I haven't cut yet and, and sewn so the possibilities are endless. So um, I'm sitting here right now at my sewing machine and I'm just getting some of them finished. I have quite a few done already but this way I always have something in stock. I have a multitude of designs of materials so if there's something in particular particular you're looking for let me know I may just have it or I may be able to, to get the material and and make it no, that's not a big deal trust me I am my mother's daughter I am my sister's sister so where there's material concerned I got it covered my mother was a seamstress and she had a beautiful big room down in the basement in the house I grew up in and this gorgeous cutting table that she had made and the same people that made this enormous cutting table because she used to make drapes also made her a sewing table for her sewing machine it was beautiful and I just hated to leave it there when we sold the house but I didn't have room for it and at that time there was no way to get it out of the basement so I don't know if it's still there or they chopped it up or whatever but that's neither here nor there so these are ten dollars excuse me fifteen dollars which includes shipping within the united states uh, they can be shipped overseas i don't know what the shipping would be but you can always ask me i, I can figure that out they don't take that long to make they're not an apron it's like a scarf you wear it like a scarf uh, you can use the ends uh, for pot holders if you need but they're handy because a lot of times when you're cooking in their kitchen you're trying to find a towel to wipe your hands on these have it right there you know they're hanging right there by your hip so you always have them throw them in the washer dryer and you're done ready for the next time so thought I'd take you along on this little trip like I said I uh, I'm gonna get this one side sewn up so I can put it up and show you the the uh, design on the material I made my sister one sent it out to California it had some pink flamingos on it and uh, that was the last I heard about it so anyway you know go figure I have a niece that's not too far from me here in Ohio that loves koalas, so, you know, Shelly, I can always do you a koala one. And then I found out my other niece that's in California, which is the daughter to my sister and the sister to the sister that's here in town, or here locally, she now collects owls. Funny thing is, I used to collect owls. So I boxed all my owls up quite a few years ago and I sent them to California. So now she has them. So anyway, that's my story today and I'm gonna stick to it. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So far it's not storming here which is a plus for Ohio. Uh, it rained like crazy yesterday afternoon. So our gardens are once again mud. Once again, I don't have anything in. I got somehow, hopefully this weekend, we will have uh, our nine-year-old granddaughter, Kaylee, my youngest son's youngest daughter, and her three-year-old brother, Anthony, here this Saturday afternoon and evening and Sunday. So with luck, 
keep your fingers crossed, we can get out in the garden and Kaylee loves to get out in the garden and help. We'll see what Anthony does. That'll be his first time. So we'll let him get all muddy and see what he can plant and I'll stick him in the shower, you know? Kids clean off real nice. I was on, this morning I was on a three plus hour live stream with Reap What You Sow, Jerrieth and Todd down in Louisiana. And one fart, funny part of the live stream, I think we had four people fighting over us as to where we're going to go and stay and visit. So Louisiana is like a 14 plus hour drive, but I've never been there. And we have friends down there, reap what you sow, uh, Denise and Mac, um, Gemini Homestead, she's my daughter number two, uh, Broussard Homestead, Brett and Amy, and Abby, they're also in Louisiana. Uh, we have our Arkansas folks, uh, Searching Sabrina, VW Family Farm, Roots and Refuge, uh, Horticulture Geek, they're just, they're everywhere. I just love it. Tennessee, Oklahoma, Texas, Mississippi, Georgia, you name it. Next weekend, speaking of Georgia, it will be up our way. So if you're local to Ohio, check out Meyer Hatchery. They are having a customer appreciation day. So not only will we be there, but so will Big Bear Homestead and you can always meet up with them. I think they're a speaker two or three times during that day. So, and they're staying here that night. The next day is Father's Day, so Jason's gonna get some a special Father's Day gift. So I will uh, bring you over to my Matilda over here, which is what my mother called her dress form. And I'll start showing you the kitchen boas. See you in a minute.